Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. This video, I'll be showing you how to rename user folder in Windows 11. But before we start, hurry up and check out these offer just on this video. Let's get started. So if you want to rename your user folder here on Windows 11, well, there are a few things that we need to understand. Now, the thing with user folders here on Windows 11, well, typically it's kind of complicated if you want to rename them. Now, typically in order for you to find your user folders, you just need to go to your C drive here open up the users folder and this is where you should see your user folders. Now the thing with the folders in here, you can just right click on them and just rename them as you would in here. Now that's not how these folders work. Now if you're going to rename this via this way, this will or this might actually break your PC. So I highly recommend you that you not rename your uh, user folders via this way. Again, your PC uh, is dependent on these folders here. Renaming, renaming them via this way or even renaming, renaming them via your, let's just say, uh, your uh, registry editor is really dangerous because again, this will or this might break your PC or even corrupt your PC. Now, the only way for you to get a new folder name here or uh, for your PC is to just basically add a new account. Now, typically, if you uh, close it, let's go and just close this one. So you just need to go to search here and you want to go and just type in account and you want to go and choose other users in here. Now, by the way, if you don't want to do this by this way, just type in settings, open up settings and under settings, you want to go to accounts and under, under accounts, you want to go and scroll down a bit here and you want to go to other users. Now, in here, you just need to click on the add account option. And in here, instead of just providing uh, your sign -in information, just click on I don't have this person sign -in information. And from here, it should allow you to create an account. So in here, let's go and just uh, basically uh, create a user account without a Microsoft account here. Let's go and choose this one. Now, you can go and just add the name for this user and add a password for them. Now, if you click on next here, that should create that account as you can see here now. Now you can also make this an admin if you want. You can go and click on change account type here and you can go and just make this as an admin if you want to. Now typically once you've done this, this will create a new folder that is the name that you want to basically use. Now typically in order for the uh, folder to appear, you may need to restart your PC. But yeah, so that's how you create a new folder here. Again, I highly do not recommend you to change the name itself or to change the name of the folder uh, any kind of way because again, your PC depends on that folder and you may break your PC. So if you still want to change that, proceed with caution, but then again, it's not recommended. Now, just in case if you want to change the name of your account on only, well, you can still do that. Well, you just need to access control panel here. And under control panel, you want to go and choose user accounts. You want to go and cho choose the user accounts button here or link. Now from here, you should see your current account here. You go and click on change your account name and just add or choose whichever account name that you want. But take note, this just changes your name and not the actual user folder. Because again, it's unique. The folder itself is unique. You won't, uh, it is highly uh, discouraged that you change it manually. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.